Mm. We're out on our morning wonder. Bradell's just watching some friends disappear off into the background. Enki wants to go with them. I was just uh, thinking this is this is a dull day and uh, it's autumn isn't it and it's getting darker and uh, mornings the days are getting shorter it's darker f in the morning and it gets darker quicker in the evening and the seasons the seasons are changing and uh, we read about this in one of the songs Psalm of David and he says this uh, he says, uh, the trees of the Lord are well watered, the cedars of Lebanon he planted. There the stork, uh, there the birds make their nest. The stork has its home in the pine trees. The high mountains belong to the wild goats. The crags are a refuge for the coonies, which is um, uh, badgers, you know, rock badgers. The moon marks off its seasons. The sun knows when to go down. You bring darkness, it becomes night. All the beasts of the forests prowl. And so the, the great theme there is the changing seasons. And uh, we're thinking about what creation tells us about God. It doesn't tell us everything, but it does tell us a lot. And what we see here is that God is a God of order and pattern. And so seasons come and go. He's ordained that. And that's at a very big level. And then at a smaller level, you see the, the trees uh, come into leaf and f flower and then fruit. And then you see the fruit fall and then you see the leaves fall on, and you see pattern there. And uh, God is a God of order, not a God of chaos. Uh, we've built Western civilization is possible because scientists uh, uh, quite early on and, and it's interesting to look back and see when science really got going and when people began to uh, recognize that there was a stability in nature and a pattern to nature uh, there was design and it was based around Christian scientists believing that God was consistent and that he put pattern and consistency into nature so they could start to observe and make law, make come to conclusion on the laws of nature, what things do not change. So God is a God of order and of pattern, and that's a great encouragement to us, and that should encourage us. In the past, they thought that the gods were difficult and awkward and hard work and changed what things did and what happened. Do you know? Can you imagine if uh, there wasn't real order in nature? and one year a fruit was good to eat but then in the next year it was bad to eat and it was poisonous uh, one year the trees grew straight up and another year the trees grew sideways uh, life would be impossible but life is only possible because of god's laws god's rules and god's power and that is true not just of nature but it's true of the human soul as well and it's true of our hearts and it's true of moral life and God has put within our hearts eternity but he's also put within our hearts the knowledge of good and the knowledge of evil and they remain consistent and we live in a world that is trying to override those great laws that God has put in place well it's impossible and for those of us who are Christians uh, we we lay hold and keep hold of the great laws of God. Well, today, as we trust in God to be consistent, may God bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace. Here's my little friend. Is it time to go? Yeah. It's starting to rain. Oh, the seasons are changing, aren't they? Have a good day.